What the hell is going on in New York City? Do you see this? Ghost guns in a daycare center. What the actual hell? Welcome back to the Political Living Room. I'm Karen. This is my living room. We're going to have a little chat about politics over coffee. I've got the Starbucks Frappuccino happening in the mug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little sweet, but excellent. Okay. Three arrested, including two minors, after ghost guns found in New York City daycare. You know, when I first read that, I did not have my glasses on and I thought it, it can't, it can't say that. And then I put my glasses on and found that it did. I was relieved to find out that my eyesight is not as bad as I thought it was. But then I was also dismayed to realize that our city is going to hell merrily. All righty. Let's take a look at the, uh, at the individual who created this nonsense. So we've got this young man here. His name is Karan Jamal Kohli. As you can see, he's a member of a so-called marginalized community. What does it mean to be marginalized at this point? It means that you can run around hollering and screaming about how you're a victim and everybody has to bend over backwards to make sure you're okay. How if you're a member of, let's say, a community of people that like to impersonate members of the opposite sex, everything that you want pertaining to that masquerade must be done on a pain of suffering, imprisonment, deplatforming, firing, etc. In the case of uh, these so-called marginalized individuals, it means that you can commit all the antisocial acts you want and everyone has to forgive you. And you should never see the inside of a jail cell because, you know, Jim Crow. And, you know, racism. But this is the young man. This is the young entrepreneur who made the ghost guns in the day kick. All right, let's go a little further. Let's check out this article from CNN. It says, okay. So three people, including two minors, were arrested after multiple 3D printed firearms were found inside a Manhattan daycare. The Manhattan operation is a family daycare site inside someone's home, similar to the daycare in the Bronx, where the, uh, the little boy uh, was killed by fentanyl because there was fentanyl all over the place. I'll be talking about that in another video. Police executed three search warrants Tuesday at the daycare as part of a long-term investigation into the manufacture and sale of privately made firearms. Rebecca Weiner, the New York City Police Department's Deputy Commissioner of Intelligence and Counterterrorism Bureau told reporters. Inside the ha Harlem daycare, law enforcement recovered several 3D printed firearms along with a 3D printer and 3D printing tools. Wiener said the untraceable homemade weapons are known as ghost guns. So if you've got a family daycare in a New York City apartment, first of all, New York City apartments are small. Generally, New York City apartments are one bedroom. If you've got a two bedroom, it's like you've hit the lottery or something. And you're talking about a, a very small bedroom and a bedroom of reasonable size for an apartment. Either way, you're not talking about a whole lot of space. So if you're talking about a family run daycare, you have these little kids in there with this kid, with, with, with our buddy, the thug, making weapons. If anybody has been around little kids, you know, it's hard to keep track of them, particularly if they get bored and if they're in that 18 months to two and a half stage, they're going to just be running all around there. And it's very easy for them to get into things. Not to mention the fact that the parents leave their children there expecting their children to be safe. 
They do not expect that some young entrepreneur from a marginalized community is going to be making weapons in close proximity to their baby. Okay. Now, let's just take a look at this. So, this says, this is from Eyewitness News 7. This is big news in New York City. I was really surprised. 18-year-old charged after ghost guns discovered at East Harlem Daycare. So let's see what they had to say about this. All right. This says, Coley was arraigned on Wednesday night. His bail was set at $350,000 cash, $500,000 bond. I am so glad it's that high. I could not find anything about whether or not this kid is still in jail because he couldn't make bail. But remember, Alvin Bragg, who likes to let people out. And while New York City has not done away with cash bail, like Chicago has, um, this this kid is not going to spend a whole lot of time in jail. He's he's really not. It's, he's he's going to be out. If he's not already out, he'll be out in a couple days. Okay. You've got an 18-year-old in his room with a 3D printer. He's not making little robotic toys. He's making guns, said Mayor Eric Adams. The daycare was licensed to operate in February of 2021 and was last inspected this February. During the inspection, it was cited for three violations and minor changes were made. Okay. Did they inspect the room of the 18-year-old boy who lives there? I would also say, um, if a family daycare is in a home with a teenager, a teenage male, or any type of, of young male, I'd think twice about leaving my kid there. I really would. I'm not going to say any more about that. Let's keep going. This is a heartbreaking scenario of thinking that you're dropping your child off. To a, to a place of safe haven, just to find out it was a dangerous environment where someone was making a gun inside, Adam said. Uh, one thing that I find particularly frustrating about Adams is that he has these moments of clarity where he actually makes sense, and then it comes to nothing. And he'll blame the other Democrats, he'll blame the Republicans. For Christ's sake, he is the mayor of New York City. He has power that I think he's not using, which is not to say that he's some kind of autocrat or authoritarian and he can, you know, put his foot down and every edict is law. But Adams has allowed a climate of lawlessness to exist in New York City. And as I said before, you've got Alvin Bragg, who doesn't believe that any uh, marginalized person should spend any time in jail. So there's no consequences. And believe me, if this kid was making guns and selling them, spending a couple hours or a day in lockup is not a deterrent. That's not going to be bottom for this kid because he's making money. Now I'm just speculating. I don't know if he actually is making money, but I believe that that was probably the goal. And if he's making money for himself and his other little thuggy friends, spending a couple of days in the lockup is not gonna stop him. And just think about it. What's our national conversation around crime in liberal, liberal cities? The national conversation is that crime doesn't exist. And that you have people like our little thug over there doing that to feed their family. God forbid he gets a job, but, you know, <laughs> God forbid. You don't want to do that. God forbid you work for like Amazon or UPS or some goddamn thing or whatever it is you do that doesn't involve making weapons. You can't do that. Can't do that at all. And again, what's to stop him? If he's just going to skip right on out of, of lockup, no reason to stop. Okay, let's keep going. Alrighty, the article goes on to say, 
Officials say the investigation started with a group of individuals, including some minors, who were purchasing ghost guns from online retailers, as well as materials required to print 3D firearm components. It's called a VPN. Okay. The suspects are believed to have been using guides to make ghost guns from the internet. This is another reason why uh, teenagers and people with psychological problems should not have unfettered internet access. Seriously. Let's keep going. Behind an unlocked door of the daycare facility, law enforcement found 3D printer, 3D printing tools, plastic filament, two completely printed firearms, one printer assault pistol, excuse me, one printed assault pistol, the hell in the final stages of assembly and one additional 3d printed lower receiver there were also allegedly fraudulently obtained credit cards so they got their scam going and they've got their they've got their gun producing business going i am so sick and tired of the criminality in the black community. I am just so fucking done. Jesus. So you're telling me these three freaking little idiots couldn't find anything else to print and sell? Uh, Adam has mentioned that, you know, they're not printing toys. I, I would I would say to this kid, you realize your mom runs a daycare center, right? So you got, you know, if you made toys, or, you know, like figurines, building blocks, something like that with your 3D printer. You got your client base right there, you idiot. The fuck is wrong with you? But, you know, crime, black people. <sighs> Two of the guns were loaded with live ammunition. What if one of those little kids picked one of those up? This would be a very different story. Let's keep going. Today is a call to action. We're talking to the parents. Please check on what your kids are up to. Monitor their internet activities. We're also speaking to those who think printing 3D guns is the way of the future. You are wrong, said NYPD Commissioner Edward Caban. Well, he's wrong on on a couple levels here. First of all, you're asking parents to parent, and this is that's not where we are right now as a society. And then as far as uh, 3D guns not being in the wave of the future, of course they are. Of course they are. This is a problem that is going to keep cropping up because there's no way to stop it. You can't unring the bell, can't put the genie back in the bottle. This is something that is going to continue. Kind of like the traffic outside my apartment. The daycare was operated out of an apartment that belongs to Coley's mother. Okay. All righty. Let's keep going. Okay, cool. All righty. Now. Police said Karan Jamal Coley, our young thug, 18, was arrested for his involvement in printing firearms. It's clear. It's unclear if Coley has an attorney. Why does he, what, look, so according to District Attorney uh, Alvin Bragg, why does he need an attorney? You're just going to let him go anyway. But he faces charges of illegal firearms possession, manufacturing of an assault weapon, and reckless endangerment. Yeah, yeah, he's not doing any time. Okay, let's keep going. So check this out. Let's hear from the mom, shall we? NYC daycare owner says she had no idea about her son's alleged ghost gun operation. You know, uh, printers make a sound and there's also, there's a smell that, that, you know, that a lot of printers emit. And this is a small space. You know, it's, it's not like she's in some kind of gigantic apartment with wings and whatnot. It's a small space and it is, it is impossible, impossible that she didn't know. 
And don't they have to deliver shit to like her apartment that her kid lives in? Isn't she aware of the mail coming and going? No way she didn't know. This is a lie. Okay. So East Harlem home-based daycare operator April Coley tells PIX11 News that she had no idea her 18-year-old son, Karan Coley, was under investigation for allegedly running an illegal ghost gun operation out of his bedroom. She never went in there? It's her apartment. He's a child. She never went in there? Come on. His operation was the same, excuse me, his operation was in the same apartment where she operated her daycare. Police said, all I know is the gist of it about the guns. The gist of it? What are you talking about? Your kid was making guns feet away from the defenseless children that people give you money to protect all day long. The gist? But again, she's black. She's marginalized. We have to accept that she's an idiot, I guess. I don't know. Okay. All I know is the gist of it about guns, but there was no one present beside my son. Lying. The daycare area was not located where these items were found. Yeah, they were. Okay. So I have a two-bedroom apartment here, right? Right behind that door is the Karen cave. It's my bedroom. So if I have something going on here, while it's technically not in the same room, it's in the same area. Let's not lie and be completely stupid, shall we? Jesus, these people are freaking embarrassing. All righty, let's keep going. Come on, computer. You got, you got one more in you. I have faith in you. Okay, here we go. So, All right, so here's Adams saying the same thing that we read before. And then this woman from the neighborhood, Josephine, says, as parents, we do not know what our children do. People that are investigating these daycares are going to have to start looking for different things now. State records show a lay daycare received only paperwork and administrative violations following its single unannounced inspection earlier last year, or earlier this year, inspectors were clearly unaware of the illegal ghost gun operation prosecutors say was being run out of a bedroom. Well, you know what? Josephine's right. If you're talking about an in-home daycare where you've got teenagers, you have to look for things like drugs, weapons, porn. Honestly, they should be checking hard drives. For the love of God, anything could be going on in there. All right, we are going to leave this here. Mm. But I have to say, I hope that kid actually does some time, but I don't think he's going to. I think the mom should do time too. And yeah, daycare centers. Now, even though we are under the reign of the Democrats, where no one with uh, any melanin can do any wrong, And if they do, you have to excuse it because, you know, Jim Crow and slavery. Um, But honestly, sweet Jesus, what's going on out there? I have no clue. I don't know what's good. There's no flooding out here. What's going on? Anyway, one of the things that we have to make sure of is that children are protected. And we're not good at that as a society. We don't give half a damn about the protection of children collectively. There are individuals who do. And all I can do really is hope that individuals who actually want to do their jobs and who can do so thoroughly will be appointed to these positions so that children can actually be protected. All righty. I will see you in the next video. And until then, have a great night and bye-bye.